What's up guys? We're back at you again. We got another video at the Wallace Farm and Sawmill. And today guys, that little tractor shed behind us, I'm gonna tell you a little story about it and then we're gonna do a little work on it. As you can tell, we're missing parts of some walls and stuff here. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna talk and walk and I'm gonna walk around the shed and show you some stuff. You can see that we clearly put a new roof on it last year and I just did exactly what my grandfather had up there uh, before. Now, this shed was built over 50 years ago and he did an interesting construction here which I am going to uh, mimic and do the same thing when I go back with it. I think he's got like a one by 12 here. You can see the step down here. And then he did a one by 12 and a one by 12. So basically he spaced it out and he, you know, did some coverage on each one by 12, but he did a board and batten in which like the battens are really wide. So that's kind of neat. If you know a name for that style of building, then you could go down in the comments below and tell us. I'll just call it wide board and batten, basically. He did the same thing back here. Um, obviously it rotted out through the years. But it looks like we have like one by tens here. And he just did that. Probably six inches wide there. So probably did a two inch coverage there. But what I'm doing is I'm restoring this old barn. I use it to work on my tractors. It holds my tools and equipment and stuff like that. So we want to restore it back to its, well, prime glory, I guess you could say. Let's get back around here. And he used to have we were mid deconstructing putting the roof back over the top and everything he used to have a big set of closing doors here as a matter of fact i'll show you right here see that bolt hole up there that is where a latch used to be for the really big uh hinge and it would swing two doors where they would meet in the middle there so today's video just to get the process started yeah we got some stuff that needs cleaned up and moved around from here but we want to get part of this wall back up. So we got to cut a couple two by sixes and then some one by twelves and start stacking it back right there. And uh, starting to get it covered back in because my thoughts is once I get this wall back up, I can transfer some of the junk that I have over to here, over to there for now, and we'll get it all walled back up. And of course, I need to bring the uh, garbage can because I've been working on a few things and I got some things just laid about. Uh, there's some packaging back there from some headlights I put in our car. So I got to throw all that in the garbage. But anyway, guys, let's get this wall up. First thing we need, a couple tuba sixes. Let's get those sawed out of this 10 foot pine log.
All right, guys, we got the lathing strips laid out for that first little section, which is the section we're trying to focus on getting done today. Now we got to go cut some 1x12s. Let's go cut some 1x12s. And just like that, half of that wall section is now done. I'll give you a view from the back side. There it is from the inside. I'm going to step back here and excuse me point, but I want to show you there will be a 1 by 6 at the top that runs and makes that a straight line. So we just wanted to get it close. Then a 1 by 6 like I said, will cap that top. All right, guys, as you can see, the new stuff is behind us. The new wall section is put in. We got a whole nother section to go, but I got to get on sawing some pallet wood this afternoon so that we can make some more money so that we can do more things like this in the future. So if you guys like this style, I'll tell you something cool. We thought about it while we were doing it. I was like, wait a minute, we're doing the battens and the boards all at the same time doing it the way that we did it here. So it's a finished wall and I kind of like that. And it looks good. I think it looks good. I love it. It's a little bit more meticulous as you measure each board over and then set each flat. Then you come and cap each one. It's also less screws because you can always leave one side open knowing the cap covers both sides. So we did that. So it's going to look good here in the near future. I definitely will give you an update in a couple weeks as I start wrapping this on around. I just wanted to show you something different than 
just saw milling. I want to show you some saw milling and some practical uses here on the farm for a saw mill. And as you can see, what I have parked inside of this shed, we'll definitely be working on some future tractor builds and painting and all kind of things happen inside of this workshop. It's got a concrete floor, so I'm ready to get this all back together so that we can take care of some projects. Uh, usually you'd want to do those in the winter, but we're going to be building the shop in the winter and we'll put some fans in there in the summer. That's going to do it for this one, guys. That's all I got for today's video. Miss Brittany, what do you got to add? Don't forget to check out our Patreon page and our merchandise. Those will both be in the link below this video. And our P.O. Box, send us some cool stuff. We have really enjoyed some of the things that we've already received. And again, thanks Seven Oaks Outdoors. Yes, thank Ms. you Brittany so much. Brittany has I... used the chainsaw. If you guys go over to our Patreon channel, you can see the first time she got to use it. And uh, yeah, support us over there. We like that. We like all of our patrons. It's kind of like we use that as a daily update page. So it's kind of like our social media. We do have an Instagram. I will eventually tag it. I always forget to tag it <laughs> below, but I'll put it in the description. I just don't post on there very often. Random picture here and there. Patreon, Miss Brittany takes care of and updates daily. So check us out over there. Link will be in the description below. But until next time, guys. See ya. Bam.